your words become your reality. You are where you are today in part because of what you've been saying about yourself. Words are like seeds. When you speak something out you give life to what you're saying. If you continue to say it eventually that can become a reality. Whether you realize it or not you are prophesying your future. This is great, when you're saying things like I'm blessed. I'm strong. I would accomplish my dreams. I'm coming out of debt. That's not just being positive you are prophesying victory. Prophesying success. Prophesying new levels. Your life will move in the direction of your words. But too many people go around prophesying just the opposite. I never get any good breaks. I'm never getting back in shape. Business is slow and I will probably get laid off. Flu season is here. I always get it. They don't realize they are prophesying defeat. It's just like they are calling it in dot bad breaks. Mediocrity, lack. You can't talk defeat and expect to have victory. You can't talk. Lack. Not enough, can't afford dot never get ahead. And expect to have abundance. If you have a poor mouth you are going to have a poor life. If you don't like what you're seeing you start showing some different speeds. We all have this negative self thought that goes in our head. Guess what, there's enough people that are telling us that we can't do it. That we are not good enough. Why do we want to tell ourselves that? We know for a fact that thoughts influence action. Why do we want to say negative self thoughts to ourselves? We need to get our own self affirmations. Muhammad Ali what was his self affirmations? I am the greatest. Who else is gonna tell you? There need to be quiet moments in your bedroom. Quiet moments when you brush your teeth dot that we need to affirm that I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate, that is my affirmation. If I don't believe it no one else will. How do you build self-confidence? Get away from the people who will tear you down. There's enough of that, Muhammad Ali I am the greatest there is no one better than me. There's a difference between hubris and ego and false pride. It's just reminding yourself in quiet silent moments. I put it down on a list. It's right beside my mirror. Right? About all the things that make me who I am. Because I make enough mistakes and the newspapers will recognize it, and people around me will recognize it and they will tear me down. And pretty soon I will begin to believe it. Stop the self-talk. The negative self-talk. If you watch you will see some athletes will have a little bandage or a little brand around them. Lance Armstrong is a perfect one. What's his self-affirmation? Live strong isn't a brand it was to remind them of who he was. Live strong. Then it became a brand. He will move that from one arm to the next arm when doubt and fear comes into his mind. Live strong put it on there let's go. We all have it. Replace it. I believe passionately that we can shift the negative voices and stories that are going on in our mind. Into positive ones. How do you do that? Well there's three main questions. The first question is. Is it the truth? Is whatever I'm sharing with someone or what you're hearing from someone else that's giving you feedback about your life try you? You know 100% that it is the true first question. Second question? Is it necessary? Is what I'm saying to myself in my head? Is it necessary at that exact moment in what I'm doing with my life? Right then. And the third question is? Does it improve upon the silence? Somewhere deep inside you know what kind of person you were designed to be. If you want to produce great acorns think like an oak. Not like an acorn. Think like the person that you intend to become. Like the Christian question. What would Jesus do? Ask yourself what would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do? So let me ask you a question. What kind of seed is in you? Figure out who you are. Don't apologize for who you are. And then become even greater than you naturally are dot at what you're. If I could give you one thing to take from this, it is no one will believe in you unless you do. Listen to the words of that video. Here's some crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers the round pegs and the square holes. We supposed to be different from this and when people look at us believe in yourself.